Distinguished future physicians, welcome to Stomp on Step 1, the only free video series that helps you study more efficiently by focusing on the high yield material. I'm Brian McDaniel, and I will be guiding you through the list of the high yield genetics material for the USMLE Step 1 Medical Board exam. I'm not actually going to cover these topics in this video as I've already created a seven video playlist covering these topics. This video is just meant to let you know which topics are and are not important for the exam. Based on my calculations, you should expect to see roughly 16 genetics questions on your exam. Some of these questions will involve low yield material, so this can be a frustrating section. But if you focus your attention on the higher yield material, you should get most of the questions right and save a lot of time studying. Try to avoid spending lots of time studying things that have no clinical correlation. If there is no way to apply a given topic to an actual patient, it's much less likely to show up on the exam. I give each topic a high yield rating from zero to 10. If by some chance you've gotten to this video without seeing previous videos, you don't know what that means. So click on this orange box here if you're watching on a computer or just go to my website and look for the high yield rating page. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to list off the topics from highest yield to lowest yield and quickly comment on what you need to focus on for each topic. Our highest yield topic is going to be autosomal recessive inheritance. So you want to know which high yield diseases have this type of inheritance, know how to calculate certain risks in offspring and different generations, and know how to identify a pedigree that has autosomal recessive inheritance on it. Next, the high yield rating of nine is going to be X-linked recessive inheritance. Again, you want to know which high yield diseases have this type of inheritance, know how to do some of those basic calculations of risk in different generations, and then identify it in a pedigree. Pedigrees get a high yield rating of nine, meaning you're almost definitely going to get at least one pedigree question. So be able to identify the key types of inheritance on a picture of a pedigree. With a high yield rating of seven, we have post-translational modifications. So you want to know the basics of what a poly A tail and a five prime cap are, as well as splicing of introns and exons. High yield rating of six, we have translation. So just know the very basics of how DNA is turned into RNA. Really knowledge from entry level, you know, bio 101 type courses would be more than enough to get these questions right. You don't have to really dive into the minutiae here. Six, we've got trinucleotide repeat expansions. So focus your attention on fragile X syndrome and Huntington's. Five, mitochondrial inheritance. So you want to know the general definition of this type of inheritance and the key disease with this type of inheritance, mitochondrial myopathy. Another one with a high yield rating of five is gonna be tuberous sclerosis. You wanna know how it presents and what conditions are associated with it. So now we're getting into more of the medium yield topics. With a high yield rating of four, we have epigenetics. So you wanna know the general definition and how it works and different types of changes to the DNA and histones. So methylation and acetylation a high yield rating of four, we have autosomal dominant inheritance. So you wanna know what the difference between dominant and recessive is. You want to know some high yield diseases that have this type of inheritance, you know how to calculate risk to different generations and how to identify a pedigree with autosomal dominant inheritance. Also with a high yield rating of four, Lesch-Nyhan syndrome. So you wanna know what is the genetic defect and the clinical presentation. Then high yield rating of three, we have DNA replication. So just know the very basics of how that works. Imprinting, this would include Angelman and Prader-Willi syndrome. You wanna know the definitions of imprinting and how to identify each of these diseases because there are differences in the clinical presentation. Three, polygenic inheritance, just the basic definition. 
neurofibromatosis. You want to know the clinical presentation and what type of inheritance it has. Down syndrome. Uh, know the genetic basis is trisomy 21, how it presents on a quad screen or ultrasound, and how the disorder presents clinically, as well as some high yield correlations. Now we're into the lower yield material that's still probably worth studying. Variable expressivity, the basic definition, and some common examples like neurofibromatosis. Mosaicism, just the basic definition. So this pleiotrophy, same thing, just kind of know the basic definition. Incomplete penetrance, you want to know a couple examples of when this can happen and what it is. And finally, you want to know uh, what von Hippel Lindau is, just kind of the general genetics behind the disease and the clinical presentation. So that brings us to the list of what I call no yield topics. These are topics with a high yield rating of zero. These are topics I wouldn't suggest spending much time studying unless you've already mastered all of the higher yield topics. These topics are not covered in my videos. So I'm just gonna quickly scroll through the list so you can see them. If you want to actually look through the list, just kind of pause the video for a second and take a look. Uh, here's the second page of the no yield topics. And then the third page of the no yield topics. That brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it and you want to help me out, as well as making it a little bit easier for you to find my videos on YouTube, you can click this orange box here to subscribe. Unfortunately, this clickable box will only work if you're on a computer, uh, but if you're on a phone or a tablet or something, just go to whatever buttons below the video and you should be able to describe that way. And then if you would like to be taken directly to the videos that go over each topic in depth, you can click on this black box here to be taken to my first genetics video. Other than that, thank you for watching and good luck with the rest of your studying.